The Lu-2 on the uneven bars consisted of a one-armed giant swing forward to a ginger release and was created by China's Lu Xuan in 1995. Even though it's clearly more difficult than the regular version with both arms, they shared the same D rating, since the technical committee did not want to encourage one-armed elements in women's artistic gymnastics. The one-armed ginger was never a popular skill, but it finally left the code after 2012, mainly for safety reasons. The Salto Sideward Piked with takeoff from one leg to side stand entered the code during the 2006-2008 quad, but by 2013 it had already been removed from the rulebook of the discipline. It carried the same D value as its counterpart in a tucked position, but it was much less common, which is a shame since the piked version was more aesthetically pleasing. The tucked legs really take away from the beauty of the skill, while doing it with straight ones makes this element far more appealing. The Feinrich mount was described as a round-off in front of the low bar to flight backward straddled through momentary clear straddle support on the bar. It had a C value, but could occasionally be downgraded to B if the vertical handstand position was not reached. Former East German athlete Gabriela Feinrich created this mount in 1985, and she even performed it with an extra half turn once. Unfortunately, its time in the code was short-lived, as the skill was removed after 1992. Wolf turns are a thing in modern gymnastics, and we're used to seeing them performed with the free leg straight throughout. But there was one variation that left the code in 2021, a double turn in tuck stand on one leg with the free leg bent. It carried a B rating, which is considered too low for elite standards and this is one of the main reasons gymnasts did not gravitate toward this skill. However, this version was arguably better looking than the ones we're used to seeing. Which elements do you wish hadn't been removed from the code?